how about we wipe code an AI agent today? Let me show you what is Chai. Chai is your coding agent. It's like an on-demand AI engineer where you can simply prompt and it will create write the code, build the entire agent for you. And you can click uh, deploy and it will be deployed on Langbase. Let's see how simple it is. So what I'm gonna do today is, let's just give it a minute and let's build something like, you know, chat with PDF, right? We all have this PDF there where, you know, we wanna build an agent that we could just chat with to see what is in that PDF, right? Let's see how simple that is. So what's going to happen right now is it basically has figured out that it needs to create a workflow, right? Where it will create a memory where we will be uploading our PDF documents. Here's that memory. And that memory will be used to retrieve similar context from, right? For our questions, which is then going to be used by an agent to generate an answer, right? That simple. That is how simple it is, right? So it's writing the code. It has created the memory. It's created the agent already. It is now creating the UI, the chat bot that we will be interacting with. Let's see how or what the, uh, you know, uh, memory looks like. So if you go to this memory agent here, or you can basically click here, right? You can see this PDF documents memory has been created. You will have to put in your open AI key here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ahmedavas.com uh, slash about. This is a page about me and uh, about talks, uh, which where, you know, you'll find some of the talks that I've given and maybe get Langbase API key, this document. I'm going to, uh, what I've done is I've already saved these pages as, as PDF. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop these, right? So it's ready to deploy uh, that agent. Um, you know, I've added my open AI key uh, right here. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's deploy it right away, <laughs> right? So while it's deploying this agent, how about we go ahead and upload all these documents? So there you go, three documents uploaded, right? And now these documents are being processed, right? So this is my about page, the page about my talks, and the page from our documentation where we talk about how to get an API key from Langbase so you can deploy your agents, right? And while this agent is being deployed, you know, sipping some chai here, shoot, it's hot. <laughs> you'll you'll probably see some fun logs here. Uh, we can also probably see that this agent is being deployed here. Right now, the agent is already done. It's deployed, ready. This is the URL. Uh, uh, as you can see in our memory, all these files are ready. In the code, uh, you can see what it is doing. This is the entire agent. This is the UI of the agent. Before we start, though, let's let's actually go ahead and read, uh, uh, try this agent out, right? So I'm going to ask this question. So who is the founder of Langbase and how can I get an API key? Uh, maybe less wordy answer. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't take like a day. <laughs> to give me all the answer I need, right? All the information I need from all these pages. It's right now searching all those PDF documents that we uploaded, right? There you go, the founder is me and here is how you get the API key. Uh, can you tell me, and you can make typos here, what uh, are some of the recent uh, talks that Ahmed gave? Let's say, in early 2025, right? Let's see what it comes up with because it has access to this page, uh, talks, where I actually talk about my talks a lot. These just a couple of talks I have in 2025, right? So it has already come up with the talks that I give, <laughs> uh, you know, in 2025, right? So this one probably was my latest talk. This is pretty cool, right? Uh, it took me just a minute to do this. So, you know, chat with PDF is all I had to ask, right? Now let's jump into the code. What is happening here? So there's an agent.ts file. Uh, here's a workflow. And here's a step, uh, retrieve PDF content, where we have mentioned that memory. Uh, again, uh, you can basically select this step, either ask it to improve this piece of code if you find an error here or something, or you can basically ask it to explain what is going on here, right? It is vibe coded anyway, right? In this step, what's gonna happen is it's gonna take your input, which is probably coming from here, right? So it's gonna take your input and it's gonna retrieve relevant chunks from the memory that is listed here. 
and then those chunks as PDF content are going to be thrown into this agent, right? This agent is going to generate a response based on those chunks. And it's basically, you know, selected the right, uh, you know, GPT 4.1 mini model for me because it's like a very simple agent. It's also gone ahead and done all the prompt engineering for me, which is pretty, pretty helpful, right? And then it has gone ahead and created this chatbot, right? And that you can see right here, right? It also has explained like how I can upload more data using like, you know, an API uh, because every agent that we build here comes with a UI and an API. So you can like use it with, you know, Node.js, Python, Curl, what have you, anything works, you know, you can throw this agent into any workflow you have, or you can just use this, you know, uh, uh, just URL. Right now this is private. I can actually just go ahead and make it public. Uh, make public. There you go. Uh, I can copy this link. I can go to incognito windows or throw this to anybody uh, uh, in, on a Slack or something, you know, bookmark it there. And you can just chat with it, right? <laughs> I can also share the code of this particular agent, by the way, right? So I can just copy this link, uh, send this link to anybody, and they will be thrown into this window, the Chai platform, computer human AI, where they will see everything that I was chatting about all the code in, probably not the API though, because I am logged in, they will be able to fork it, right? You can just fork it and take it with you <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, uh, start changing things here. I've created so many, so many amazing things with Chai so far. Like, I think I was having a lot of fun building, uh, I don't know, like this, there was this fun little uh, receipt uh, uh, OCR document that by default, we couldn't figure out how to do. Uh, but it was pretty fun. Like there is, there you go. Receipt OCR agent, right? In this document, basically, I asked Chai that you know I want you to use Mistral OCR. Uh, I basically gave it a little bit of code because uh, by default it didn't know what Mistral OCR is, and asked it to create a receipt OCR agent, and it went ahead and did that. It also had an example for me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this example. I think this is pretty much gone, right? <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, uh, let's let's give it a go. Oh, this that is here. Oh, uh, I don't know why it's not loading it right. Maybe something is going on. Let's try and analyze this receipt, right? So this receipt is uh, City of Palo Alto. Uh, total paid bill is fifteen bucks. Let's see what it comes up with. By the way, there you go. City of Palo Alto. Total amount paid is fifteen bucks. I can basically do anything with this, and you know the entire code for this is there, right? What what it is doing is it's basically processing the image for OCR. Uh, it's using GPT four or Mini to extract more information. Uh, and hmm, there 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 you go. I think this is the Mr. OCR part. And after that, it is just giving that content as an output. In the step two, it's just you know extracting a lot of schema. Like who's the merchant or whatnot? Like it basically created the entire uh, Zort schema, uh, and it's creating the structured output. It wrote the entire uh, prompt that was needed. I again, I can improve all of this. You know, I can just ask it to improve or ask it to explain any piece of this. It is just unbelievable that this was almost one shotted. I think I had a, a problem with the output. I asked it to fix it, and it just went ahead and fixed that. But this is how simple that is, right? Go ahead and wipe code your AI agents with Chai. I am super excited to see what you build and what you wipe code. Wipe code for good. Bye. Ciao.